Hi, I'm Steve from Score App, and I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you through the platform. So this is my account area. I already have several scorecards created. I'm going to click up here to create a new scorecard. I can start without a template or I can choose from one of these done for you templates. So I'm going to choose the Fit for Life scorecard. I'm going to click to use this template. Now the first thing you can do is update logo, fonts and colours. Because these get used as defaults throughout the scorecard, it can be nice and easy to update those at the beginning. But I'm going to click to do that later. So within questions, which is where we are now, you can see that this particular template has brought in 15 questions and they are divided across three categories. Categories are how we break down scores. So we calculate an overall score from all of the questions, but we can also break that down into separate scores using these categories. It's really simple to add a new category. For example, if I wanted to add a new category called mindset and I can add a new question to that category. Do you have clear written down goals. As an example question in mindset, yes would be the correct positive answer and therefore that should score points into that category. And I might choose for that to score two points into that category and I could have no as minus one or leave it as zero. And I can also tick maybe and choose sometimes. Maybe that gives one point into that category. So that's a new category and a new question added. So that's questions. Moving on to landing pages, you can see that this particular template already has a landing page created. If you click onto the landing page, you go into the builder. Now this allows you to fully customize the page. As an example, we added that mindset category. So we might want to talk about that on the landing page. I can just click onto the section and I can click to add the category and I can write mindset. I can choose an image. Let's have a look in our library of images. Let's have a look at icons. Perfect. So I can select that and I might also want to add a testimonial. You can see that we've got wide selection of different sections that you can use to customize your landing page, call to actions, different category sections, video, various different content sections. Let's just say I want to add a testimonial and I want to get that up at the top underneath the banner. So that's landing pages, nice and easy to change and edit. You can even add a completely new landing page. We have a nice big selection of templates to choose from, or you can start from, from scratch and build it exactly as you wish. I'm actually gonna skip lead form for now and I'm gonna dive into the results section. Now there's a few different ways to configure your results. First thing to look at would be the score tiers. Score tiers are how we provide traffic light scores and it's also how we provide a different content based on how people score. So that might be against the overall score or the category scores. And you can see here, this particular template has simple low, medium and high, red, orange, green, um, but it's actually really easy to add in an extra tier and pick the color for that or you can tweak these scores so that, for example, it's much easier to score low and very difficult to score high. Then we'll go to the result page. So result pages work in a very similar way to landing pages, except we have the context of a result, which is somebody who has gone through your scorecard, they've answered your questions, and we know how they've scored, therefore, when we go to add sections to our result pages, we have all of these different sections that show charts and show scores and represent results in different ways. Let's say, for example, we wanted to add a chart 
let's add this section. You can see it's actually got our nutrition, mindset, sleep, and exercise. All right. That, take that up to the top. Obviously that's got thank you for taking the fit for life scorecard there. So I'm just gonna remove it from there. And hit save. So that is my detailed results page. The last thing we'll look at within the builder is the lead form. Now this is the form that pops up either at the beginning or at the end of the questions and it's where we collect people's name and email address. So by default we've already got first name, last name, email there, but it's actually very easy for us to add new fields such as phone number and maybe we'll, we're just looking at the United Kingdom so we'll set that as a default and maybe we just won't set it as a required field. So that's an extra field added to the lead form. This is also where we can set our privacy statement, add our privacy policy. We can choose how we want to deal with the opt-in settings and we can specify where we want that lead form to pop up within the process. That's all the basics set up for the scorecard. You can just go and click on this icon in the top and you can see my newly edited landing page. I can click to take the scorecard. You can see the phone number field is optional, so it'll let me through. And I can go through answering the questions. There's my results. That's a scorecard done and built. Now if I dive back into the platform, I can now go across to my dashboard. I can go through to my leads list and you can see that my first lead has dropped in there. You can see how long it took me and what I scored and you can go in and see scores against the categories. You can see every single individual answer and you can even see how long it took to answer each question. That's a scorecard picked from a template, a few edits made, a quick test run through it. The only thing left to do is take it out of draft mode and that's your live scorecard ready to go.